Uh, Sue from CBC, just to follow up on on the previous question and the video that Jen, Danielle Smith released. Um, your, uh, where do you represent, sorry, where do the conservatives stand on these issues that she had talked about in the video? Well, we stand for common sense, like on everything else. Uh, our approach is to uh, axe the tax, build the homes, stop, uh, fix the budget and stop the crime. And we extend that same, uh, we extend common sense to all issues. Uh, now, uh, Justin Trudeau wants to use this as a wedge issue. He's now uh, trying to distract from doubling housing costs, quadrupling the carbon tax, unleashing crime and chaos in our communities, forcing 2 million people to the food bank. And so he is spreading disinformation on this subject. And it's time for Justin Trudeau to stop, stop distracting and dividing Canadians. Let parents raise kids and provinces run schools and hospitals. That's my common sense approach. And it's time to bring it home. Pierre Poilievre champions a common sense perspective, emphasizing practical solutions and steering clear of complexity or ideology. His advocacy for letting parents raise children underscores universal values, promoting individual freedom and protesting against excessive government intervention. The focus on individual freedom and responsibility is key, emphasizing the right to choose an autonomy in shaping one's life. Poilievre calls for state governments to manage schools and hospitals, aligning with decentralization limited federal intervention, and the preservation of local autonomy. This stance reflects skepticism towards institutions, questioning centralized authority in favor of individual and local autonomy. Poilievre's critique of Justin Trudeau resonates with socially conscious Canadians, addressing critical issues such as housing costs, carbon taxes, crime, personal responsibility, and obligations. Overall, his perspective aligns with the values of an awakened populace dedicated to crucial matters.